how we move, how we think, how we feel, how happy we are, how sad we are, all of those things are all controlled by the chemical signals in our brain. Having too much or too little dopamine can affect our brain, can affect our bodies. In Parkinson's disease, it's the brain cells that make dopamine. Some of those brain cells start to die and degenerate. So we have less dopamine in the brain. So because we have less dopamine, patients with Parkinson's disease are not able to move as well. So they lose control of their movement, lose control of their motor function. Okay, do you see what I'm doing? Quick as you can and fast as you can. Keep going, keep going. My first image of Tom Hickey, looking back at it, I think that he represents a kind of uh, extraordinary, noble vulnerability. First thing that I asked when I realized that I have Parkinson's was, what bad thing have I done to deserve this, you know? I don't know how to slow down, but just as I could treat it. And then I failed to stop it progressing, you know. There's no cure. Nobody has figured out how to stop brain cells from dying. This is the natural biomaterial which we are using and we use it because it's very suitable for implantation into the patients that we are aiming at. So we can make the gel at a consistency that matches the mm -hmm. human brain. Exactly. The brain matrain implant will attempt to address several different features of Parkinson's disease at the same time. Because cells die in Parkinson's disease, we are going to transplant cells back into the brain. So you can see them over here. So all of these, all of these sort of triangle-shaped dark cells are the dopamine neurons that we've transplanted into the brain. Once we can establish that we can deliver everything safely, then can they actually work? Do they slow the disease? And can they restore function?